And so when you're sort of going from, you know, your reporting notebooks to your writing desk, which is a walking desk, we should say you're not, but when you, when you stand up to write your first sentence, you know, <laughs> when I'm are, running, yeah, as, as I'm you're jogging to get to that yeah. first sentence, um, do you, have, have you practiced telling it out loud? Like, how do you, do you, do you have an outline? Like, sort of what are the bare bones of that process like for you? Um, well, definitely, well, let me begin with just the, the sort of, actual kind of walk you through. Yeah. Um, and I have a couple of important points that are my little hobby horses, which I will note. To begin with, I, I do all my reporting before I begin writing. And certainly, there are times where you have to go back and do infill reporting, because you discover something you didn't learn well enough. But I'm doing all the reporting in advance. I take notes by hand. And just as an aside, and you as a person who knows science, I'm sure are familiar with all of the studies that have shown that you absorb information very differently if you take it by hand, as opposed to the worst, which is a tape recorder, mm -hmm. and second worst is typing. So um, I've handwritten these notes. I then. Once I've done all the reporting, I type up all the notes. So it's sort of a second time of interacting with the material. Then I print it all out and highlight the notes, the sections of the notes that seem particularly useful for me. So it's sort of a third time of having contact with that information. At that point, I generally find myself talking the story out, out loud, either with just casually when people say, what are you working on? And you know, then it's like, ugh, bar the door. I'm going to just talk. Um, or I take advantage of my husband's enormous <laughs> patience and talk out the story. And to me, it's incredibly important. It's the, I begin hearing the, the themes. I begin hearing what has risen out of that reporting and stuck in my head as being interesting or, or relevant or important. And the less important stuff starts sort of being shed. So once I've gone through that, I then start just percolating. And it will be a moment where I suddenly hear a lead in my head. And as you say, a lot of these are a bit absurd. I don't feel that a lead needs to be a synopsis of the story. And in fact, I think it's a huge mistake for it to be that. Instead, I, I like to think of it as a, as a come hither look. It's, it's something <laughs> um, inviting, uh, tempting, a little off kilter. So you think, well, wait, 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 wait. I have to understand this. Right. I have to keep reading because I don't understand quite understand what I've just read. It's useful if it has some information, though that doesn't seem so important <laughs> to me. Um, and you know, I really uh, compare it to a, a striptease. Y you want to take off just enough to have people say, wait, I, I got to stick around and see what this is all about.